Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of English Nukuru Haju. This week on the show, we are talking about the one, the only, Brazil! <laughs> Brazuka! <laughs> yes, so we are missing Brazil a lot. I am especially struggling today about it. I've been receiving a lot of calls and photos and audios from my friends back in Rio. They are all together meeting each other during Bloquinhos, the carnaval. Mm -hmm. They're all together. They are all together. Yeah. For some reason, your I don't TH know is a little off today, meu amor. Okay, so you... Maybe because I missed Brazil. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. So it is safe to say that you are feeling a little bit of saudades. Yes, and FOMO as well. Fear of missing out. Okay. So we decided to try to kill those little saudades by talking about the country that we love so much and that we are currently missing a lot. So, Alexia, what would make you feel better? What do you want to talk about about Brazil? So, I have an idea. I want to talk about... No, I want to ask you which place from Brazil you would choose besides Rio and Sao Paulo to go visit if you had the chance. Okay. Um, let me see if I understand this correctly. You are asking me if I could visit any place in Brazil right now, apart from Rio or Sao Paulo, where would it be? Yeah. Okay. I like this game. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm going to need a few clarifications first. First, how much time are we talking about spending in a place? Are we talking about visiting for like a week or are we talking about living there for like six months? N okay, we can make this difference. We can talk about both. Okay, because that changes your answer a little bit, right? Mine, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying if I'm going to say like, oh, I want to visit, I don't know, Bonito, Mato Grosso do Sul. I love but there. I don't know if I want to live there, you know? Okay, so start. Start with what, for a couple of weeks, like a yes, vacation? Yes, a couple of weeks. Okay, my second quick clarification. I want to make sure that we know the rules of the game. Oh my God, it's so simple. <laughs> no, it's not. Second clarification, should it be a place that I have already visited or a place I have never been to? Or does it matter? No, I think it doesn't matter because as, this. No, aside, aside mm -hmm. from Rio and Sao Paulo, the other places you didn't spend much time. So that's fine. Okay. So it doesn't matter. It can be a place that I've already visited or a place that I've never been to. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my last clarification, should it be a specific city? Because a big part of me wants to say like, mm, I really want to visit the north. I really want to visit the south. No, you can choose a state. A state? Damn. I feel like I'm going to piss so many Brazilians off. Why? Because if I choose one state, that means I'm not choosing the other, I don't know, 28. But that's uh, now. You can choose another one in the next episode. <laughs> and that's fine. Okay. Choose a state. Oh, my God, I'm going to start. Yes, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Alexia's going first. Okay. Alexia, let me ask you a question. If you could travel to Brazil right now and matar essas saudades, where would you go? Okay. And so, why? There are a lot of parts in Brazil that I... Yeah, yeah, we know. Where, where, where do you want to go? To. And for now, my heart is taking me to... Bahia. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Bahia. I've never been there, of course. That's why I'm choosing it. And it's a state that has a lot. Now, I re I can relate a lot because my best friend, all her family is from Bahia. And she's been traveling there since one year old, I think. Since she was one year old? Yes, since she was one year old. And her family is from Caraíva. 
Caraiba's a fancy beach place, right? It's not. Not like fancy, but really beautiful. I hear people vacationing there often. And I would definitely choose Bahia. And when I say Bahia, if I had the chance to spend a month there, I think I would choose, of course, the beaches because I'm really, really into the south of Bahia beaches. And, of course, Salvador because it's historical and... It's amazing and extremely cultural. Yeah, you can say there's a lot of culture. Yes. And the Sertão Baiano that I'm, I want to visit. I want to see that. I want to see this part of Brazil that I don't know much. I only, unfortunately, I only see sad news about Sertão Baiano when there is a seca. The, a drought? Yes, a drought. Can and you explain to me a little bit what is the Sertão Baiano? It's a el interior, it's the countryside of Bahia. Okay, cool. And it's extremely, extremely hot and super dry. And I don't. That's why I don't know much about it because I need to go and I need to see that and experience that. So Bahia, yeah. you have my heart. Awesome. I cannot argue with that decision. I would add eating the food. I don't know that much about the Bahian food, a comida baiana. Why? Bahian food. Food from Bahia. Is that how you say it? Uh, That's how I just said it. Okay. I don't know. (laughs) But I love... Comida baiana. Acarajé. All of those things. Good. Kind of spicy. Yeah. A little bit of dendê. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Bahia, there you go. Okay. So, I just had to look at my phone really quick to <laughs> verify I was thinking of the correct state. And it's really hard. Can I choose two? No. Because they're pretty much the same for me, and that's going to piss the a lot sa- of people no. off. No, Foster. They're it's, not, but I don't know enough about it, and that's what I want to But that's go there. fine. That's why you want to go. Just say it. Okay. I think I would say the sweet, sweet state of Rio Grande do Sul. South. Yes. Go to the south, because we've had a lot of students from the south over the years. I don't know anything about the south of Brazil. I've had a lot of students from Porto Alegre. Like cool, awesome places like Gramado, Caixas do Sul, Caixas do Sul, Caxias, Caxias do Sul, Canela, Canela. Yeah, and I would also really want to go to Santa Catarina, but you made me just choose one, <laughs> so that's why I chose Rio Grande do Sul. But it really seems like, hmm. How do I want to say this? One of the things I really love about Brazil is diversity in the quite literal sense of the word. Brazil is very similar to the U.S. in a lot of ways in this sense, I think, that if you travel to South Carolina and then you go to, I don't know, Seattle, it's like literally two different countries. Yeah. Geographically, demographically, just way different culturally. And there's so many crazy places in Brazil that have nothing to do with the places that I know, like Rio and Sao Paulo. Yeah, yeah. I would go to the south as well. Also, I was talking today to my two friends, and Luisa is from Porto Alegre. Mm-hmm. And she she was, is? Yes. I thought she was from Curitiba for some reason. No. Just knew she was from the south, and I love her accent so much. I love she the does southern have beautiful Portuguese Brazilian accent so much. So maybe we could do we could do Nordeste and so we could travel from Brazil from the north to the south to the east to the west. Really missing Brazil. Yes, and the other state that I would choose. We get two. I would choose. You just said. Maranhão. Maranhão. Maranhenses. Sim. Sim. Maranhão. Also, a state that I I just know one person from there, Natalia. Mm-hmm. And all 
those beaches and the food and everything about Maranhão, the Lançóis Maranhenses. I know that it's extremely touristy, but I want to go there. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of people from Maranhão here in Porto. Yeah. Uh, one of the girls that works at Bebe Gourmet. <laughs> She's really nice. <laughs> she always fills up my water bottle. <laughs> yeah. I get another state. Go ahead. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm putting the two southern states together. I just cho chose nor north and northeast. northeast. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. So a state that I already know a little bit about. Really? But I'm a dish. Ah, I didn't choose Minas, but I love Minas. It's I would say Minas. For some reason, Minas Gerais. Best Jedi's. people from Brazil are Mineiros. And yes, I just said that. I love Mineiros. Yeah, the people are really sweet. The food is incredible. And I've been to Minas a couple of times to like post Chicaldas with Alexia's family. But for some reason, I feel at home there. I feel like if I was born Brazilian, I would be... A Mineiro. Yeah, Minas is incredible. I miss everything about Minas. Minas, I, my cheese, oh <laughs> my, my cheese. Okay, requeijão. Before Alexia gets too lost in saudades. com requeijão. I think we're gonna call it a day. And a feijoada mineira com aquela couve maravilhosa. Yes, we can record an entire <laughs> episode on Mineran food. But for now, I think that helped. It made us feel a little bit better. Everyone in Brazil. <laughs> oh, it did it. <laughs> I'm trying to be positive. All you Brazilians listening, we love you. We are going to we see do. you sooner than later. And just keep Brazil weird. <laughs> <laughs> Beijo. Beijo.